Hey, what's going on guys? It's Grix and I have decided to make a tutorial video for all the newcomers that uh, are that, that is joining the unofficial Gunbound community channel. Um, so I'm going to try and cover, uh, you know, all the bases that's, that people are asking and all that stuff for beginners and in a very short amount of time because I know my previous videos, um, they are pretty long, so I don't want to lose you. Um, before that happens, so I'll try to get it done as soon as I can. So, without further ado, let's get going. Okay, so to start off, uh, this game has a few different types of currencies. Don't be uh, too afraid. Uh, there are the dungeon coins at the very top, uh, the battle training tickets, the gears, and also the gems and the gold. Now. You don't have to worry too much about the dungeon coin and the battle training tickets. So I'm going to just turn that off right now so it's a little less distracting. Uh, what you really want to focus is your gems because you end up getting a lot for uh, basically for free at the very beginning stages. So making sure you make the right choices with gems, which is a real money currency, is important if you are a player that don't want to spend too much or at all. Right. Um, gears. Uh, you can only get them by trading in gold uh, and the gold is the in-game currency where you get it uh, when you win or when you you know defeat your uh, AI bots or whatever so it's primarily these three that you're gonna be working with and I'm just gonna quickly explain how you should spend it or actually my recommendation on how you should spend it um, so let's get going on that hold on one sec okay so when a lot of players who first enters the unofficial GBM Discord channel, their first question is usually, how do I spend my gems? Then following which one is the best avatar, and then following that would be which one is the best tank. Now, I'll try to cover all three in a very short amount of time, so I might be speaking really, really fast. Now, if you see here on the side tab here, which is the tank card, avatar card, pet card, and jewels, you want to be getting these things in order. So of course you want to get your tanks first and then get your avatar card and then get your uh, pet cards and don't worry about the jewels because I'll tell you a little secret about it later on. Now the tanks is very important. Um, I always say spend your gems, the real money currency uh, on avatars and pets uh, because you can basically get gears for free then why don't you spend it on tanks? However, it's very important that you spend your first maybe 200 you know your first 500 gems that you get for free which is actually you know very easy to do um you want to spend it on getting your team set up now i always stress that you know or i always voice that you don't need the s grade to win games this game is not so much a pay to play pay to win more so a pay, pay to play um now you can have a lot of success with the a grade tanks there are a lot of players in the community discord who likes using a grade tanks and they fucking win with it so it's not the tanks it's the player so my first recommendation is building your team now uh, I've, i always say that go to the try this tank mode right and, and just try every single tank um before you actually start playing in the ladder because obviously when you don't know how to play you're gonna get discouraged when you get your ass whooped now the only way to get good is to be comfortable with the tank that you like now a lot of people ask oh what's the best tank to me i personally like tanks that look cool i don't really care what they do actually i do sort of but as long as they get they they look cool they are a plus one on my books uh, some tanks can do a lot of good damage, but they look like trash. Then I don't, I don't usually play those tanks. Um, again, aesthetic means a lot to me. So you got to ask yourself, what means to you? Do you want a tank to just get you the wins, or do you want to just have fun playing the tanks you like? Right. So, be, without spending any any resources, I personally always say, you know what? Go to this training mode. Pick out the tank that you like the most practice it right and it's free to practice so um and then you can you know you kind of figure out okay which three tanks would be my go-to tanks right uh so depending on whether you are setting up for a pro battle or a score battle it's a little different on both 
but ideally you want one set for both pro battle and score battle. So I always say, you know, go, work on your pro battle first because the, a one versus one, you don't need to rely on anyone else to win. It's it's more on relying on your own skills and kind of like your strat strategies and stuff. Um, so again, just pick maybe at, at most pick two packs, right? And to form your score battle and pro battle. Because ideally, you want to be conservative with your gems at the very beginning, which is why I always say try your tanks. Don't just blindly buy them like what I did. Um, and then realize, oh, this isn't the tank for me, blah, 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 blah. Right? So the, the, you, I would suggest maybe getting one pack of the packs that give you three tanks and then get one pack that gives you the two tanks. So in total, you should have five A-grade tanks. And, you know, you can just kind of mix them around and see which one it works for you in both pro and score and work your way up there. Now, after that, after your tanks, right, you want to move on to your avatars. Now, I personally always think that, uh, where is it? Oh, right, right here. The victim avatar pack is the best for a new player and also a player that doesn't want to spend all that much. Um, don't worry about the S's, like, you know, the, the S grade and stuff. They just, uh, honestly, they just look a little better. But their, their gains uh, from, from S grade to A grade, it, it's, the, the gains are very minor. So I wouldn't, like, stress and lose sleep over not having the S grades. Um, but Poor Rabbit, uh, Sad Frog, uh, Thread Toys is probably my favorite. Uh, I'm not a fan of s Sleepy Tired Dog or whatever. Uh, and well, Trouble Monkey used to be my favorite, but then I realized there are better avatars out there. So in this pack, you just want to get those three. Again, if you end up uh, rolling for it, like if you, you know, click buy, right, obviously. Uh, if you end up getting the S grade tank, just keep it, right? Keep it for a later time because when you have accomplished everything else, you can go back and start working on your S. So that is okay. Um, ideally, you want to get that because of this skill, which is if you are the lowest level on the playing field, then you get extra buff. Now, at the very beginning, you don't have to really worry about it from the Wood League all the way up until maybe Silver 2 League. Uh, people are using whatever trash avatars they can find. Now, uh, when you're first starting off, I think by far, maybe your best avatar is, where is it? this guy right here. Uh, if you don't have any avatars, just try to get three of these guys because uh, two defense jewel and also their sk its skill to like reduce damage is probably your best out of the this whole pack. Uh, and then work your way up to your uh, victim victim pack, right? Uh, once you have your victim packs, um, then you can work on the pets. Uh, again, certain tanks work better with certain uh, pets, so I can't really... Uh, go over all of them because there's like 44 tanks out there right now. I think 40, uh, I don't know, 40 something. Uh, but yeah, you, you should be able to find it uh, on the community form to see which one's the best. Uh, I personally think the uh, the go-to pack is the unicorn because any pets or any tanks would benefit from the red pony, the uh, green pony, and some tanks uh, would benefit from the drill horn pony depending if you are playing bungee or damage, all right? So that, that's ultimately it. Um, the unicorn pack, the, uh, the little devil pack, cute devil pack, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty uh, important. And now, now that you have more pets, I mean, the, 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 the combinations are endless. I would just do a little bit of research, but don't stress too much because uh, it takes a while to get to the pet stage anyway. So by the time you have played enough and you're ready to get pets, you should already know which pets to get. So don't stress too much about not having a pet early on. Um, you you know, you can go on without a pet up until like the Diamond League, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then last but not least, um, I wanna just emphasize on the jewels. Uh, I always say don't stress, don't lose sleep over the jewels because, um, let's see here. You see this red one right here? where it says 3.1%, uh, which is the best, right? And then the drop rate is less than 0.1%, which is laughable. Um, you can get something better for free, uh, which is why I, I don't even 
bother with it. Um, let's see, which one is it? All right, so, so if you hit your rank above hero two, um, then, wait, is it hero? Yeah, hero two, you actually get this, which is 3.2, which is the best one you can get. Uh, it's uh, And it's absolutely free, as long as you can get up to hero two, and it's not that hard, guys. It's not that fucking hard. Um, and also, the green one, you can... You, this is okay, it's not bad. Uh, 38 HP is actually not that bad, but... Um, another place where you can get free jet jewels is doing the world boss. Now, here in the world boss, you can see, uh, all right, so you can see here, like, if you are in the top 10, you have a 10% chance of getting the 6%, which is the best you can ever get. Um, but don't worry about it because, you know what, if you feel like you won't be able to, you know, consistently do top 10. What's the next best thing? Well, your next best thing is the 5.5, and you can absolutely get it for free. Now, this world boss event will take some time for you because you need a specific set of tanks to do world boss, because there are tanks that just do better in world boss mode, and if you don't have those tanks, you're going to be competing with people who do, so you'll never get the top 10. However, if you are at least within the top 50, you can get the 4% for free. I know 4% compared to like the 5.5, 1.5%, 5, uh, you know, it actually makes a difference. A lot of people uh, pay a lot for, for an extra 1.5 stat. Now, if you if we go back to the uh, store a little bit. Um, okay, so the best green oh gosh i mean don't don't worry about the ds stuff the ds one sucks uh the green shield right the best you can actually roll for is 5.5 percent and how many oh my god like you gotta spend five gems which is quite a bit for a chance to get it at 2.5 percent so it's very very fucking low all right don't worry about the ds stuff like these are just garbage that is in there to like uh, screw up the uh, the gotcha thing because ultimately you just want the shield you don't want the heart you don't want these things but like they add it in there just to get you give you garbage but yeah don't don't waste your time so if you can I mean I would just focus on maybe getting the a grade for now and it ends up being five percent which is a lot easier to get uh, to eleven percent chance I I would much play that uh, and and get that and then work my way after to the world boss because 5% versus 5.5, okay, that is not a big difference, that 0.5, but four versus 5.5, it is a big difference. So you gotta kinda see where I'm trying to get at, right? So if you get the 5%, you're totally fine. You will still be able to kick ass and you don't really have to worry about it. Uh, after that, uh, after, well, that's all the gem spending, right? So you gotta spend gems on avatars and then pets don't spend gems on jewels, that's a waste. And don't spend gems on tank cards after your initial uh, two lineups that you're going to be setting yourself up for, for both pro and score. Now, you might ask, well, what do I do with the other currency? Right, okay, so the other currency, literally gold. Oh gosh, okay, so gold here is, you can buy gears with it right um a hunt oh, oh no i don't want to buy it but like uh where's the gear pack geez uh, oh right so you you want to get the 550s at five uh five fifty thousand because you get an extra 10 percent. so why wouldn't you just wait and save and all that stuff right uh if you want to level up your tanks it is going to cost you if you are having an a grade it's going to cost you a little bit over 500 which is ideally you know, 50,000 coins and all that stuff, which is, which translate to about 110 gems to level up your tank. So I personally would just use my battle training tickets, go to the battle mode and then play hard AI. Uh, you can get 400 or you can try the other events and sometimes you can, let me see this. Uh, nope, that is a, let's see, you can get 500. Uh, there's some 1,000 ones. Uh, no, that's 500. But what I'm trying to get at is the AI mode, the battle training mode, 
is probably your best way to level up your tanks because you one you get experience from beating the um, uh, bots and then you also get a good amount of gold so you just save up so like if you play the 400 uh, bounty reward you get a little bit more than 400 because you know certain tanks give uh, actually all, all the tanks give a gold bonus a little bit so but for for the safety sake let's just say 400 if i play about 12 matches that's 5000 coins ish and so 5000 coins that's about 50 gears uh that that's basically you know at the end stage like a one full level and so um if, if you just grind and you, you know you get experience playing it uh you get experience aiming so i think you know your best bet is to play battle training for the first while maybe even after you know spend all of your battle training tickets that you get for uh, a lot for free at the beginning um you know i wouldn't worry too much about buying battle tickets uh unless you really need to grind uh, a certain amount of gold but you just can't do it um you know by playing pro battle because you know your your win rate is not above 50 percent let's just say that right so in that case, you know, trading in 30 gems for 180 battle tickets on a plus side, that is the best way of uh, converting your gems to gold, but it takes a little bit of time. So, I mean, at the very least, in the beginning, for you, for all of you, that is going to be worth it, okay? Um, and also, the dungeon coin is for you to literally spend on skins, which is like, you know, obviously the Vega Elite looks cool, but it costs you 3,000, which is, in translation, it's 300 uh, gems. And then if you convert that into real dollars, that's about 30 bucks, which is a little steep. I mean, I did it because there are, those tanks are the ones I use the most. Uh, don't tell my wife that though. Um, so anyways, that that is basically in terms of how to spend your resources. Again, I'll just emphasize, Spend your resources, uh, spend your gems on avatar and pets, right? Uh, spend your first 500 gems on uh, tanks. Uh, and then spend your gears on tanks. Um, and not, not buying these stupid packs, all right? Don't, don't do that. Just save up to get these dragon packs or the gold. Gold is going to cost you a little bit more uh, because it's a guaranteed uh, that you will get that right and so if you don't mind uh, Getting some randoms here. You can do it for half the cost of a gold I mean there are a lot of good tanks in each pack So I, it's it's totally up to you. Do you want to gamble it or do you just want to save up and get what you want? Um, that Well, that's the moral. Uh, that's a, you know story. That's my ugh, That's my story. Anyways, um What else do I need? Oh, right. So after you realize, okay, uh, spending all your gems and gears, what do you do with gold? You get gold to level up your pets, or you get gold to buy gears uh, to level up your tanks, or you can even put those gears towards your S tank savings. But ideally, I personally would just use the gold to level up these pets because, let me see if I can uh, explain it here. All right, so... This is a level one pet. If you really want it to be level 15, it's gonna cost you 94,000 coins. That is almost, oh my God, how much is that? It's a lot of money, all right? It's a lot of gold. Cause 150 gems, you get 70,000. So basically, if you wanna level, level up this pet, it's gonna cost you 20 gems, or sorry, 200 gems. In translation, that's 20 bucks US. Right, so it's a little expensive. So if you can just do it with your in-game currency, uh, which you get for free, and it's pretty easy to get, so, uh, I would just do that. Again, it takes more time, but some people don't want to. They 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 don't want to trade their time for grind. But uh, I mean, every everyone has their way of playing, right? So that is it.